All right, so if you can't afford one of these, and maybe tents are not your thing, then do what we did and just buy yourself a people carrier, take all the seats out, and use it as a camper van. So we're not really into doing things in an expensive way, we like to do everything on a budget and this project is also on a budget. As a family we couldn't afford to run a separate camper van, so it had to be a main family car. It was new car time so we decided to buy a 2003 Ford Galaxy, 7 seater, the, all the back seats come out. The front seats turn around, swivel captain chairs and we've got some foil um, bubble insulation type stuff. Yeah, I'm really cheap on it, about 15 pounds of all. Yeah, got some sticky velcro, uh, cut it to the shape of the window so we've got total sort of privacy and insulation. And then we just use the wild camping stuff inside like our sleep mats and sleeping bags. Yeah, we'll give it a try and <laughs> see how we get on. So as we just mentioned, we're going to show you how we put the foil in the windows and um, what Gareth did was he put a bit of velcro in the windows and then you can just literally stick it to that. Not this one though, this one just wedges in. Yeah, the back one just wedges in. If, if you do it sort of tight enough to the window, it will, it will hold in by itself. So that's not going anywhere. And then this one, we've just got self-adhesive Velcro, stuck it around the edge in various places and then just stuck it on the end of the uh, on the edge of the rubber surround and that should just pop up there like that and like we just said that'll provide insulation as well as blackout I mean you might feel you're in a bit of a spaceship but some people coat it with, uh, with a bit of fabric so if you wanted a black interior you just coat it like put a bit of black material sp uh, spray glue stick it on and then you've got a nice sort of coloured interior or you can match your interior but it's supposed to be really good for insulation and obviously no no light's going to get through that so you could get naked in your van and no one could, no one could <laughs> peep through beauty of that is it's just really simple and fast to put up, really it quick is, to take in it and out. It is really cheap, so basically to convert this to a camper van, we had the camping mats and things anyway, it's just cost us about 15 quid, about 15 quid for the foil, the roll of that, and then probably about two quid for the yeah, sticky Yeah, it's about two pounds, yeah. Um, we'll try and put links to that in the description if you're wondering where to get it from, but yeah, I'm feeling warm already. <laughs> So uh, just cooking tea down here in the shade of the car. I'm having smash, so he's having smash. <laughs> smash, two lots of smash. Nice and easy in the wind, but we're out for two nights. No need to like mine apparently, just lose itself off yours. Oh, so he's setting fire to the car. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're out for two nights doing a wild camp tomorrow night, so keep an eye out for that video. Uh, we're with our friend Brendan, who's in that camper van over there. He's just taking his dogs for a walk. So there we go, nice and easy. That's Camper G and Z for tonight. Go on, have a latest. That's fine. You go sleep with your boots on? No. <laughs> and then, Obviously not. And a little seating area there. Where we want to get up in the night and have a drink of vodka. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> Spaceship. I'll put all of them in.
in yet though. It's raining outside. Yeah, it's been raining, blowing a gale all night really. Just been sat in Brendan's camper van still, drinking and talking and stuff, so we're just retired for the night. First night in the car as a camper. Not much more to say really. Had some smash earlier. That was nice. Yep. Nice and cozy in there at the wind and rain. Yep, we've, we've turned the sleeping bags around a bit um, just because the back end of the car is a little bit higher than the front. So we'll let you know how we get on in the morning. Morning, everybody at home. Yeah, I had a really warm night. This this silver stuff works brilliant. It was quite chilly last night, and it was it was blowing a gale and raining and stuff. But we was uh, we was warm and comfy on the uh, outkit mat. So yeah, it uh, it always been better if the weather was glorious sunshine. But it was it was it was nice to uh, try our first night in a camper car. But it's a, it's a good test of coming out in bad weather for your first one, so at least you know that it was warm enough when it was cold. So yeah, try in harsh, harsh yeah. situations. It's always a uh, always a good test. But nice clear morning this morning. So just making a couple of a uh, couple of coffees, about hot chocolate and a coffee, and I'm gonna have a walk down on the beach. Right, been for a walk on the beach. There's a bit of an island over there that's cut off by the tide at high tide. Be a cool place to camp, but more importantly, it's time for bacon and rice krispies. Rice krispies. <laughs> bag strainer for something like a couple of quid off Amazon. Ideal for little firebox tasks like that. Got a link in the description for those. They're awesome. I've had these a couple of years now. Not as awesome as a bacon sandwich though. Or bacon wrap. Get in. Alright, all packed away now. Um, I think that was a pretty successful first car camper van yeah, we'll, trip. We'll, we'll do that again most likely. Yeah, nice cheap way to do it. Like I say, if you can't afford one of these, then get yourself a people carrier, take the seats out and stick some sleeping mats in it. Yeah, it's a good, good night. Like I say, it's cheap to do the windows and it's just, just something a little bit different. We've always fancied it. so. And bonus is it carries all the kids around because <laughs> it's got seven seats. So not that we have seven kids, but <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but um, yeah, really good camp. Really enjoyed it. Um, shame about the weather being a bit blustery, but thank you for Brendan. Sat in his camper van there, but um, yeah, cracking spot in Wales. 
I'm not going to say the exact location because Brendan showed us and it's it's not really fair to publicise it but yeah lovely spot on and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one